Okay, it's Roger Mudfossil University. We're going to start a new study starting today. I have a guy that has biological labs that's taken an interest in the work and wants to set create a database of these different organisms that live in different people's bodies and what is normal and what's not normal. I've been looking for this for a long time and I hope this plays out because it's 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 exactly what I was hoping to get. So what do we need? And it's all about your gut health. And I'm going to show you a couple things real quickly, but the key to this particular talk today is that we need people to step forward. We need people, we need autopsy people that can collect and uh, different samples in the body. I'll be talking about that in a minute. We need some other people that can t test blood chemistry. The uh, maybe have um, x-ray fluoroscopes or something of that nature. They can tell quantities and um, types of uh, elements that are in the blood because you need different metals in the blood to move these things around. This is a, a, a little bit of a complicated dance here and we need um, to find out what bacteria types live in what particular environments because all your body is a huge different variety of environments salts and acids and you know blood areas and areas where there's no blood where the tendon and stuff is and it's just a huge 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 interaction between chemistry molecules transferring gases carboxylation they cause a ton of i could bore you all day with chemistry and so forth bottom line People are sick. And I'm going to show you what can happen with just a few little microbiotics. In, with, a kid that has autism, serious autism. And bingo, just like that, by taking just some very basic microbiotics, uh, uh, probiotics, pops them out of it. Now, I'm not saying everybody has that result, but we need to, uh, it's obvious that something in the body is creating either a toxin by uh, um, being living there and creating poop that is toxic to you. They have to live and they have to poop. That is the case. That's what's causing the problems. Now, are they also invading you and eating you or are they just eating the stuff comes through you? If they're creating holes in your in your gut and everything else because of the toxicity of them, I don't know, maybe they're eating you, maybe they're not. Maybe they're just living there and it's toxic waste. I have no idea. But if they displace the one that's supposed to be there that's dealing with the bile or is dealing with the acids or is dealing with some of these other salts and these things that are invasive and corrosive and destroy tissues. They ruin the mucus. So enough of that. Let's... I'm saying it all starts in your gut. And you start looking up. I tell you what right now. If you have any issue whatsoever, anything at all, headaches, skin conditions, look it up and then look up digestive issues with the same thing. Such and such and digestive issues. 100% hit. There's another one right here. Gut microbiome. 33 ways gut bacteria affect your mind, your body, and your mind. You can go absolutely insane. All of these issues are due to wastes in your body, either being made by these things or other things are not being collected by the things that should collect them. Bacteria can collect gold. You didn't know that, did you? This is right here. Bacteria produce gold by digesting toxic metals. Same thing in you. When you eat things, whatever is in that thing you ate, you have to get rid of it in one way or another. If it is toxic, these bacteria eat it up. And what do they do with it? They make gold, which you, you want, in your body. These are the things. The bacteria are the things that create transition metals. And transition metals are the things that make your body work. And if you do not have them, you are sick. You should see this. You should watch this. Krista Oricchio. Heal the gut. Heal your life. Wanderlust. Fabulous. Fabulous. She is a marvelous speaker. And obviously knows what she's talking about. She's the exact same thing that I was talking about. She's better looking at my hands, too. I'm going to go through a couple slides. This is Marguerite's son, John. Fabulous young guy. He's nine years old. He's had severe autism since he was two. 
and I'm just going to play a couple of clips here. Now I'm not sure what order they go in, but it's uh, I believe the first one here will show him in a perfectly normal state of mind, just like any kid you'd see. And then when he does not have a just the absolute basic thing called primal defense, it's from Garden of Life. Now. It, and they make it in a kid's formula, you know, probiotics. Now, I'm not pushing anything for anybody, but it worked for him. That's all I'm telling you. It worked for him. Probi uh, probiotics, primal defense, kid stuff. Now, watch this. If I can Come make it. Right, he, I think this is the one he's perfectly normal. No, there's no issues there. She says he does this perfectly, and it lasts about 24 hours, just a cycle of it passing through his body. And if she can't get in it the next day, he's got issues. Now let's go to this one. All right, I think this is the one where he hasn't been able, he wouldn't take it. <clears throat> she gives it to him an ice cream, and he wouldn't take it, and he goes into this stimming. And he really gets, he gets in trouble here, you know. And, and, and it's not, you know, I don't think it's necessary. Something is attacking his body inside. Parkinson's is caused by gut problems, they're saying now. Schizophrenia. Here he is again. He wouldn't, he wouldn't take it. Anyway, and, and that is the stuff right there, primal defense. And she's putting putting castor oil on his feet. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that because I think it's, and this is obviously related to the gut. She puts it in him, and she's, she's been very, very, very good at paying attention to this. She's been exceptional, Marguerite. And she's, all she wants is good things for her son, and everybody wants good things for everybody. So let's see if we can get them. But I, ha I don't have time to administer this and do all the things to create this database. So this fellow has, has stepped up, as far as I can see. Uh, we'll have to see how it plays out. Um, <clears throat> but we need to get a database. And, you know, I, all I can do is re relay on, relate on other people because I just don't have the time to do that. I want to do the research. I want to get back to that. All right. Thank you. I hope I hope this plays out and works out for everybody. Thank you, Mike. The a lot of stuff. So, yeah, that's his email. So email him. Include the words health database, and um, we're going to move forward.